Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Y'all remember um, back, uh, when was it, man? Eight months ago, I did a video about rape, sexually abusing 15 and 16-year-old girls in the 70s, George Foreman fighting for his freedom, right? So I did this video eight months ago. Well, now there seems to be more... Uh, more um, accusations of well, George Foreman, we're now a family member, is saying that he raped her when she was 15 years old after becoming the third woman to accuse him of that. Now, what's crazy about this, right, is in this video I was talking about how, you know, so so unfortunate for a guy like George Foreman who's, you know, been around as long as he has and um, to be up there in an advanced age, they have to deal with this crap. But let me let me see if I can pull this over, so you guys can see this. Right here we go. Right, check this out. Let me make this a little bit bigger for y'all, man, because this is just crazy that George is going through this. But it's even crazier if he did do it. So y'all can just follow along. This is an article from the U.S. Sun, where it says, you know, business mogul uh, foreman is fighting three lawsuits, uh, which all claim he molested girls as young as 13, you know, decades ago. Um, now, this one is saying that he raped her when she was 15 now, okay? Now, of course, Foreman is denying their involvement in the abuse and plans to fight the claims in court. Um, but it, it's crazy because the newest accuser is now a 64 it says she was forced uh, by uh, forced upon uh, by uh, George Foreman when she was 15. Now, at the time, Foreman was 24. This happened in 1974. She says she went to his ranch in California, and that's where the incident took place. Now, she's related to George Foreman by marriage, not probably somebody in the family, you know. But what, what I want to say is this, right? I just, I just don't understand this whole story. She says she was 15 at the time. She flew to the ranch, Foreman's ranch on a flight that Foreman paid for to babysit his child. Now Foreman has 12 children born to five different wives. He was married to Adrian Calhoun around the time the alleged victim visited. And now, according to the document, she was excited about the opportunity to visit California and meet her world family relative. And then she says, things took a dark turn. Foreman was quizzing her on sexual explicit topics. She says she had no experience of any of that stuff at the time. Uh, he offered money to have sex with her and stated that while penetrating her, he wanted to climax inside of her, but she refused. And the relative claim, the relative claim that she was raped by George Foreman. Now listen, there's so much more that goes on in this article. Let me tell you something. I'm just, I just don't know what to think about this stuff, man. You know, a lot of things happen when people are young. And then when people get older, whether it didn't happen, sometimes people's agendas change. I don't know, right? I wasn't there. I have no, no idea. All I'm saying is it's just... I think, I think people have, have voices, they should use it. But for George Foreman, I hope he has his ducks in the line, man, because there were two other women who filed lawsuits in Los Angeles County last year, and they also alleged that, uh, alleged that he abused them in the 70s, man. Uh, they claimed that they met him through their dads. Uh, she's, one woman said she was around eight, and he took her for, for ice cream and uh, let her sit on his lap while he was driving. And was uh, did sexual inappropriate stuff, um, paid to have sex when she was 15 and he was 24. Man, this is crazy. I don't even want to read this crap no more. But, of course, he's denying it. And um, I guess we'll see what, what comes out of all this with, with Big George. You know what I mean? But it's very unfortunate to see that this stuff is coming up, especially with him at his advanced age. Advanced, advanced age. But, nonetheless, more to come on Big George. Not good times for him. Hopefully he got his stuff straight. 
you know, right now, man, this is that that day and age where, hey, man, people, they got that Me Too thing. It's still going on. And at the end of the day, if somebody's doing something wrong, I think they should be held accountable. But if people aren't being truthful and just chasing money, they should be held accountable too. But that being said, man, y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.